Well, they're back. We thought Mumbai were hiccuping at the worst stage possible with those couple of losses in the last end of the league stage. But uh, as convincing a performance in the first ever playoff game at the WPL, a thumping win over UP Warriors. It makes it a Mumbai versus Delhi final. We'll have enough time to talk about that. None of you jump the gun. Uh, but, Senior, what a performance. You know, for such a long time in this tournament, you thought Mumbai Indians would make the final directly. They will top the table. Five matches on the trot, they won. They lose two and suddenly they have to play the eliminator. So, they needed one extra game, but the outcome that we had predicted right at the start has happened. Mumbai Indians are into the final. And this looked like the Mumbai Indians from the first half of the tournament. Dominating win with both bat and ball. Lovely on the field. An all-round package. Just what they would have wanted right before the final. I think Mumbai kind of emulated the Mumbai summer that's going on. <laughs> when the league started, it was very hot. Then suddenly there were spells of rains and the temperature went down, which kind of coincided with Mumbai losing. And I think now we are bracing for hot summers and a Mumbai We are a Met department expert <laughs> here as well. And uh, the most convincing thing, we spoke through those couple of games that didn't go well for them, that D.Y. Patel appeared to be a banana mm -hmm. peel for Mumbai particularly because you'd seen, and it was not just those two, three games, the last seven of uh, the league stage games that happened at D.Y. Patel, sides batting first really struggled. I think only once did a team touch 150 and that was the highest score in those seven games. And now here, I mean, obviously the pitch did seem a little different, so the it did, but also what played into Mumbai's hands, in my opinion, was out of their eight league games, they ended up playing five at D.Y. Patil. Mm. So, despite those records not being in their favour, they had the experience of the ground dimensions and whatnot. Because all said and done, all said and done I think D.Y. Patil Stadium has, is a bit longer than Brabon. And also the pitch, as you said, there's enough carry, there's good bounce, which is what we saw when Mumbai batted today. It was coming on nicely to the bat. So, I think it kind of ended up playing in their hands. The star of the show, of course, in that first innings was Nat Siver Brunt, 72 of 38. Uh, adds up that those couple of games that Mumbai slipped up were the only games where Nat Siver Brunt did not score runs in the tournament. Here she comes. But you can't not bring up the fact that on 6 of 3, she offered a chance mm -hmm. and UP let it slip. So, catchers win matches, we are uh, to borrow a cliche. They definitely lose you matches when you don't <laughs> catch them. Uh, very, very expensive uh, drop by Sophie Eccleston there. And, you know, she made the most of it, 72. And uh, even, even though the pitches may have eased up, it was not... Uh, her batting partners didn't exactly make it look that easy. Everybody got starts but didn't really cal uh, catch on. And here she would seem like batting on a different wicket. And it also seemed as if UP Warriors misread the wicket. They played a lot of spinners and it was on a night where it seemed that Pacers would have a better say. So, they had Anjali Sarwani who got swing for a longer duration that, than we've probably seen throughout the tournament. Even Mumbai Indians bowlers Izzy Wong, Natsiva Brandt, they were kind of making the ball talk literally. But UP Warriors, after those three overs from Sarwani, they didn't probably have seam options to bank on. And that ended up playing in Siva Brandt's hands. She was superb against spin. And at the death, when they didn't have any other way to change the pace, she knew what was coming and it almost, as I said, played into her hands. Speaking of pace, WPL's first ever hat-trick comes from Izzy Wong, an out-and-out -out express pace bowler. We know with spin dominating, we sometimes forget uh, the pacers and, well, she was like, wait. And two of them were lovely yorkers, I think mm. the stumps too. You love these sides, don't you? and got a fellow Englishwoman in Eccleston to make that hat-trick wicket. We'd been waiting so long for a hat-trick, for a century. The first playoff has given us a hat-trick. Let's see what comes in the final. Uh, but this also brings to an end UP Warriors' campaign. Uh, many ways of looking at it. Do you look at it as glass half full, that you did make the playoff from a team that wasn't necessarily the strongest looking on paper? Or is there, could they, could they have done more? I think after the auction, the UP Warriors squad, if you saw, I think it, they would have been four out of five teams in the fourth position. The way they finished in the top three, uh, I think they punched above their weight. Yes, there was Deepti Sharma. Yes, there is Sophie Eccleston. But where was that Indian batting? That almost let them down, didn't it? In fact, uh, one of the UP, uh, UP players mentioned that when the auctions happened, a lot of them looked at the new franchise as a bit of an underdog. You know, with RCB, Delhi and Mumbai getting all those big-name players. But what really stood out for me about UP was how many chances they gave to young Indian 
players, uncapped domestic talent. They really worked on it. I think both captain Alisa Healy and coach John Lewis spoke about developing mm. Indian players and they really walked the talk to that effect. Yeah, yeah but particularly heartening to see someone like a Parshavi Chopra, just 16 and uh, given some tough overs, did a good job with it. The bowling, I feel, for UP is quite covered yeah. if, as long as most of the squad stays the same. But to me, one of the places which I hope they work on is the batting. The gulf between those three Aussie batters and everyone else. Between McGrath, Healy, Harris, you had 785 runs, strike rate above 150. All the other recognised batters, 455 runs, strike rate below 100. So that's one area for UP to work on, uh, but well done. I mean, uh, not like you said, many would have expected RCB to be the third team and the three Indeed. old franchises to make it, but a new franchise did break in. So well done, UP, but Mumbai versus Delhi, it will be in the final of WPL.